I had envisioned that you would organize groups of young people in which it would be like a gang. The club would be like a gang, kind of family. And I thought, it has to be a movement. And you have to give them the things that the gang will bring. Identification with a jacket, with symbols, with ceremony. Aspira is uh, the, probably the first Puerto Rican-owned and controlled organization uh, in the United States. They created Aspira clubs in high schools, and they had a centralized staff that developed a curriculum for working with the youth in the high schools, but also th they would have workshops at the Aspira offices. Everything we were doing was new. We decided we would not have counselors. We'll have organizer counselors, because that was a new concept. They have to have the the personality of an organizer, and at the same time train themselves in being counselors, educational counselors, like the counselors in the high schools. The name Aspira, a one word upbeat that incorporates in it the whole sense of what we're talking about. A command, Aspira, Aspira. A command to the kids. That age, is the one point where you can interfere and come in and break the cycle of poverty and break in and bring in knowledge where the young can change the world. <laughs>